Hello. <laughs>
Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. Oh. So, uh, you know, it it should not actually. Let's, let's see how Shah Rukh Khan smells like. <laughs> yeah. So not not just this. I mean, he mixes this one with some other perfume. I don't have that, but uh, you know, it it this is still something that he uses. Well, I cannot uh, judge and point out the notes in this perfume. Okay. Because again, I'm just sniffing this for the very first time. This is but, a uh, sandalwood fragrance. So you know the the, the main note yeah. here is sandalwood. But uh, again, very distinctive and uh, different from the perfumes or the fragrances which I have ever used. Okay. And how much you'll rate it out of ten? I will rate it uh, around eight. Okay. Mr. Shah Rukh Khan has a good taste. So yeah, uh, so basically you liked the two fragrances that are, I'll say, very soft perfumes. Yes. So I see what's your taste now. Okay, so 8 out of 10 thumbed down by Tipti. So the next one is, again, uh, something that is strong. I'm sorry, the camera is not focusing. Okay, now it is. So it is Portrait of a Lady and... Um, this is again a rose fragrance and uh, this is not just a rose, this is like a rose and incense and stuff. I am not sure how you're gonna take this one, but uh, let's see. This is very strong, just two sprays and in winters and you're done for entire day. So this is a winter scent? Yeah, this is for winters because you know, stuffs like this, uh, you <coughs> cannot actually use in summers, you're gonna choke yourself. It's funny that uh, it has the same DNA as the earlier one, hmm. but uh, again, the smell is uh, so different. I don't know what is the reason behind it. Yeah, this one is very strong. Yes, it is very strong. Uh, surely again, my kind of perfume, I'll rate it around 7 out of 10. Okay, so the price of this perfume is, by the way, um, 12,000 rupees for, um, this is 50 ml. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, 7 out of 10. Seven good out of 10. good choice. The next one is my favorite. I mean, I can literally drink this fragrance. Uh, okay, fine. So this is Sultan Vetiver and you will be able to see it on your screen. I have turned my focus thing off on my camera. So that is the reason it is not focusing. Please forgive me. So yeah, I think I, I'm, I'm not sure how you're going to take this one but uh, this is one of the most most famous fragrance in fragrance community i mean mm -hmm. uh, i had like uh, four bottles of this one uh, i sold them and this is my fifth bottle this is sultan vetiver by nishani this is again i am not able to differentiate between if it is a mild perfume or a strong perfume uh, but this is uh, i can say that this is uh, a strong perfume for first star and uh, you know gradually it becomes a skin scent but uh, it is a beast mode fragrance but uh, definitely it is a thing i i think i can smell a kind of a bit of leather in it yeah it is leather. the main the main thing here is vetiver again not a deep lover of that but <laughs> Okay, it's fine. It's it's understandable. Good. It smells, it smells really good. A rating 6 out of 10. Okay, so he rates it 10 out of 10 because <laughs> it's my favorite perfume. <laughs> okay, 6 out of 10 for Sultan Vetiver. Uh, he has a bad taste. So this one here, I think so this is your cup of tea because this has leather and uh, it is, uh, you know, I'm not saying that it is a completely barbershop kind of fragrance, but it gave me that vibes. So most prominently, this is a leather fragrance let's see if you like this again this is a very i'll say height fragrance the cost of this one is fourteen thousand approx um, this is medan by spirit of dubai all this sniffing has got my nose weak but <laughs> <laughs> okay we just have three perfumes left so that's fine I think it's nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how much you rate it? I'll just rate it five out of ten. 
Okay. So five is still generous. I mean, you rated Sultan Medivh <laughs> six, and you're rating this one five. So it's fine. Uh, so the next one here is an artisanal perfume. Mm. That means that the ingredients used in this one mm-hmm. are natural ingredients, and uh, they have used, or I'd say they have not used any synthetic fragrances in this, synthetic uh, elements in this one. Mostly, uh, this brand Botnikov. This is Vetiver Nocturne. And uh, they don't use synthetic stuffs in this. This is Vetiver Nocturne. And uh, let me know how much you'll read this one. Uh, anything that you sniff here is natural. So, you know, this perfume may not last like others. But, uh, uh, you know, that's how this one is. I think this has a really good flow of scent. According to the name, uh, I can smell some vetiver in it. Yes, uh, definitely. That is prominent. And uh, some something like something like roses, some kind of floral scents. Uh, yes, you're right. So it has florals in this. Uh, not I. I don't think specifically rose, but uh, you know all the other floral thing is going on inside it. So you're right. Uh, a very good point so this is not just a vetiver like sultan vetiver this has florals in this one what is the cost of this this is approximately 20500 so more than 20000 that's for sure it's something i will not have in my wardrobe <laughs> okay so this is good i think uh, you know people use this kind of fragrances mostly for i'll say uh, you know meditation Okay. So this is something that you know relaxes you down, calms you down. So, yeah, again that's another story. Botnikov, uh, whatever Nocturne. Okay, we almost forgot what exactly is the rating that you gave for whatever Nocturne. I'll rate it five out of ten <laughs> okay. because it smells that's, funny to me. That's that's brutal. So this one is, uh, I don't think how you are gonna react to this one. This is uh, by a new house. This is called Sherwood Perfume, and okay. this is our indian fragrance this is our indian perfume and um, uh, the owner of this house is a very good friend of mine uh, he created this perfume okay so this is called musk eternal this is how the bottle looks like just just uh, you know just hold the bottle how heavy this is feels really premium yeah and the cost of this one is 10000 by the way okay so i think for the bottle and presentation like this people should be okay with such price i i don't know about uh, others but it is okay for me but let's see if you like the fragrance because uh, mostly you don't like uh, strong fragrances so let's see if you like this one this is a musk heavy fragrance and uh, here they have used uh, a lot of natural elements uh, there are a few synthetic ones but you know very high quality stuffs and uh, the most prominent thing here is musk Definitely, I can smell the wood in it, and uh, it's kind of very powdery. And definitely, it's a strong fragrance. Yeah, it is actually. It performs like I think more than eight hours. But then I guess uh, this will be a suitable fit for some people who love strong fragrances in winter, especially, and uh, justifies the price and packaging. So I'll just rate it around. Uh, 7 out of 10 okay 7 out of 10 I mean uh, it's still good yes. for for a guy who's rating 5 to Sultan whatever 7 out of 10 is very good so yeah this is Musk Eternal and I'm gonna come up with uh, a full review of this one very soon so the next one is by the house of Roja and uh, I'm not sure you're aware about Roja but uh, this is a very premium fragrance house okay um, any perfume i mean this is a 30 ml bottle okay. and this costs for around 18000 plus in india and uh, the 100 ml bottle of the same bottle is for more than 40000 okay so it's a very premium stuff you know the the ingredients are very premium and uh, everything is quality here but let's see how much you like this one this is it's very good Is it all natural? 
um up to certain extent yes but uh, um, uh, we cannot say that this is 100% natural i mean the vetiver one that you sniff that was totally natural but uh, yes they have used a few synthetic elements in this a few natural yes and um, you can say it's a mixture okay uh i i i really love the packaging of this thing mm -hmm. looks very premium yeah but uh, on the scent side i guess uh, uh, I will just read it down to five oh. because oh my god okay uh, not my cup of tea okay so this is an amber and oud fragrance I think you're not a big fan of oud right I'm not a big fan of oud so this is the last one and I think I think you're gonna like this one because this is your type of fragrance I know you like uh, barber shop fragrances and the name here is burning barber shop okay so just look at the bottle first and. Uh, Wait, I'll give you the bottle after spraying it. So this is a barber shop fragrance, and this is again very famous perfume house uh, called D S and Durga. And uh, here you go. It smells like love. It's good, right? Yes, it is. It is actually a magical scent if you're using it in winters. It is amazing. Again, the one thing I love about uh, this uh, barbershop fragrance is, is that it uh, gets light with time when you wear it, hmm. but stays on your body. This smells really amazing. Uh, you will feel a bit, uh, you know, a zaro porum on this one. Yes, yes. Because I think all the barbershop fragrance have that uh, DNA DNA of Azaro Puro. Yes, yes. I can definitely uh, relate this one to that perfume. So how much you'll rate it? I will rate it around nine. Okay. So because I think this is something which I prefer and I, mm -hmm. I wear. Okay. So I think this is the only fragrance that you gave nine, right? Yes, exactly. So yeah, this is regarding this one which he loves the most and uh, of course I saw that coming. So the main purpose of this video is just to see how uh, a person who is not related to fragrances thinks about uh, costly fragrances so the overall conclusion is money doesn't actually means that the fragrance is good it depends on person it depends on nose and whether or not you are into that kind of dna so yeah this is it regarding burning barbershop not burning barbershop this is it regarding the review of all these fragrances um, if you like this video do subscribe and share it really keeps me motivated. We'll see you in the next episode. Guys, take care and have a great day. Is it off? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it is off. Show me before uploading the video or else I'll report it. <laughs> Bye.